Welcome to a new episode of the ITU Journal webinar series, where you can find insights and forward-looking research on future and evolving technologies. The ITU Journal is an international journal providing complete coverage of all communications and networking paradigms, free of charge for both readers and authors. This publication considers yet-to-be-published papers addressing fundamental and applied research, building bridges between disciplines, connecting theory with application, and stimulating international dialogue. Its interdisciplinary approach reflects ITU's comprehensive field of interest and explores the convergence of ICT with other disciplines. We count on your support to make this webinar an interesting experience. Please submit your questions via the Q&A channel at the bottom of your screen. All questions from the audience will be taken during the Q&A session after the talk. The meeting is being recorded and the recording will be made available on the webinar website. Closed captioning is also available for this event. You can enable this by clicking on the closed caption icon at the bottom of your screen. We hope that you will enjoy the talk and we encourage you to stay connected until the end for the Wisdom Corner. I will now give the floor to our Master of Ceremonies. Hello and welcome to the webinar series with CTOs and industry leaders of the IT Journal on Future in Evolving Technologies. My name is Alessia Magliarditi from ITU, the International Telecommunication Union, United Nations Specialized Agency for Information and Communication Technologies. It is my pleasure to open our webinar today with Ms. Wang, Chief Scientist at China Mobile. After the Q&A session, as just announced by our avatar, I will moderate the Wisdom Corner, live life lessons. So please stay online. Ms. Wong agreed to a personal chat. She will share with us some lessons learned over the years that might perhaps be useful for some of you. It is my honor now to give the floor to Mr. Onoe San, Director of the ITU Telecommunication Standardization Bureau for his welcome remarks. The floor is yours, uh, Onoe san. Thank you, and colleagues and friends. Welcome to our discussion today, and thank you for joining us. This special series of ITU webinars with CTOs shares unique insights on industry ambitions and the innovations and the way to achieve them. Uh, 60 uh, uh, 5G, 6G, and network intelligence were the dominant themes in uh, our talks from NTT Docomo, Deutsche Telekom, GSMA, and Nokia. Our networks are growing uh, sophistication uh, and complexity to meet the need of the uh, increasingly wide variety of applications, uh, many of which uh, present extremely demanding service requirements. When we speak of the 5G, 6G, and network intelligence, we are speaking of a very broad scope of innovation. Our talk from CTOs have covered a lot of ground, and I would encourage you to review them on, on our website. Today, uh, Ms. Wan Xiaoying, uh, Chief Scientist at China Mobile, will uh, guide us uh, through the uh, company's strategy to ensure that uh, future networks meet growing demand for connectivity and computing, and, and that uh, network uh, capability are comprehensive enough to uh, support emerging and uh, future applications. Uh, once again, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, we highly appreciate your support. Uh, these talks from CTOs are presented by the ITU Journal on Future and Evolving Technologies. Our journal em embodies ITU's co uh, commitment to the public interest. It is uh, unique in publishing to uh, top-tier uh, papers 
at no charges to authors and readers. Our editor in chief, uh, Young Alkidis, uh, read the uh, iTunes journal with great uh, vision and dedication. And we are very fortunate to enjoy his support. I encourage you to read out uh, Professor uh, Akerudis uh, with any questions you may have about how you could, you could uh, get involved. We welcome uh, research on all topics, all, uh, all, all year round. Uh, the, is the next issue of our journal set to be uh, published in December, we will share uh, research on the metaverse and AI for accessibility. We are also currently welcoming contribution to a four special uh, issues on intelligent technologies intelligent technologies for future networking and distributed net systems, satellite considerations and connectivity from space, next generation computer communications and networks, and AI and machine learning in 5G and future networks. Alongside the, I, the ITU journal, ITU Kaleidoscope conferences, and the ITU's academia membership, uh, another uh, two key uh, avenues for uh, academias to uh, engage in ITU's work. The uh, next edition of the ITU Kaleidoscope Academic Conference will be held in October next year in New Delhi, India, in conjunction with the ITU's World Telecommunication Standardization Assembly, the main governing uh, conference for ITU standardization. Academia and industry are key partners in research and development and in bridging the latest uh, innovation to market. Academia membership provides uh, valuable support to this collaboration. Contributions from the uh, Academia members brings greater strength to the work of the ITU and a greater impact to the research to the mutual benefit of academia and industry. Our international standards, for example, uh, support or support the uh, global adoption of the solutions developed in uh, collaboration by academia and industry, boosting return on investment of both. We also uh, supplement uh, our membership driven work with open framework such as ITU focus group and initiative like AI for good and the digital currency global initiative group, uh, United for smart sustainable cities and, and the global initiative on AI for health. These frameworks as well as our open workshops aim to give a webinar to to the opportunity to influence our work. I welcome you to join us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Noe san, for your welcome remarks. Uh, I'm now very pleased to give the floor to Professor Ian McIldip, editor in chief of the ITU Journal, for his welcome remarks. Thank you, Ian. The floor is yours. Thank you, Alessia. Uh, Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening worldwide from Abu Dhabi with love. I again welcome you all to the fourth season of our ITU Journal for Future Evolving Technologies webinar series. In the first three seasons, we had the research leaders from the academia, where we had the leaders from the industry in the third season. The objective of our journal is to bring the academic and industrial words together in order to establish a strong bridge between academia and industry. Our journal ideas were incubated, incubated back in December 2019, and the inaugural issue came out in December 2020. It is an open access journal, no fees for the readers, and no fees for the authors. The papers go through a review process, and we try to recover to cover all front front research activities in the world, both in the academia and industry. I encourage you all to submit your papers and also if you have ideas for special issues, 
please do not hesitate to contact uh, contact us. And at this point, I would like to thank Cesar Ono San, uh, Bilal Jamusi, Eric Campagnola, and in particular, Alessia Maliarditi, who are all in Geneva, Switzerland, for their infinite support for the success of this journal and also for the success of this webinar series. And let me express also my sincere thanks to our speaker today, Dr. Wang Xiaoyun, China Mobile, for accepting our invitation and giving this webinar. Now I wish you an enjoyable and productive time with our speaker. Thank you so much, Ian, for your kind words. Uh, and now I'm pleased to give the floor to Dr. Bilal Jamusi, Deputy to the Director and Chief of ITUT Study Groups, for uh, um, to introduce the speaker and to moderate the Q&A session. Thank you, Bilal. Thank you very much, Alessia. Thank you, Ian and Onoe san I'm very pleased to introduce our speaker today. Uh, Dr. Wang is the Chief Scientist and Deputy Chief Engineer of China Mobile Communications Corporation. She was a member of the NGMN board and a leading initiator of the GTI International Organization. She's one of the technical leads in the field of mobile communications in China and has been dedicated to the research of mobile communications network technology and systems architecture. As the overall technical leader of China Mobile, she has led three major technical innovation projects in 3G, 4G, and 5G, and has made systemic and pioneering contributions to TDD network deployment, access network, and core network systems architecture research, promoting the global development of TDD technology and industry. And recently, she focuses on the research in 6G network architecture and computing and network integrated architecture. I'm very pleased to welcome you. Uh, Ms. Wang, the floor is yours. Hi, everyone. Uh, dear Director Onoisan and uh, colleagues, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's my great pleasure to join you for this uh, web webinar. First of all, I want to thank on Onoisa for inviting me. We have been old friends since the days of 3G, and I'm always grateful for this support, uh, for his support in promoting TDD technology. It's incredible how time has passed now. Uh, here we are in the area of 5G, 6G, Everything is changing rapidly, the technology, the industry, the market. So uh, for the next 20 minutes, I will be focusing on the telecom operators trans trans uh, mission, transformation in the new uh, landscape. My slides has three parts. Now I will present the first part. In the human history, each, uh, in, uh, uh, each industrial revolution has greatly promoted the social, uh, so, so, uh, social and uh, uh, economic development. In recent years, the development of new information technology represented by 5G, AI, cloud computing, IoT, and uh, um, blockchain has been so rapid. Many experts believe that human, humankind has entered the fourth industrial revolution character, uh, characterized by digitalization and uh, intelligence. Data and information technology have become new important production factors. They can reshape the traditional industry and drive rapid economic growth. The fourth industrial revolution significantly promotes the development of digital econom uh, economy. In China, in China, the digital economy account accounted for over 40 of G G GDP in 2022, and its total volume is over 50 trillion RMB. In addition, the digital economy's growth rate is more than 
10% every year, which is higher than GDP growth. For the pie chart on the right, we can see the scale of the digital technology trans trans uh, transform transforming uh, the traditional industry is over 80% of the digital economy. Clearly, digital economy has empowering effort, uh, uh, effort on the real economy. Uh, furthermore, the global technology revolution is progressing rapidly in the uh, field of information and communication. A significant trade is emerging, emerging. The integrated innovation will play a more important role. It is due to the fact that the single point te uh, technological uh, breakthroughs are reaching their limits. For, for instance, as semiconductor, I mean, se uh, as semiconductor uh, processes advanced from five to three and further to two uh, na nano nanometer, uh, the continuation of Morse, uh, Morse law become challenging. The wireless communication capacity is reaching the limits imposed by uh, Shannon's uh, theory. Therefore, the integrated technology innovation has become a new and important breakthrough approach. Many companies are now exploring how communication network can integrate, uh, can elaborate AI to enhance performance and efficiency. Others are re researching the integration of communication and the sensing, computing, and the material science. We eagerly anticipate that this integrated innovation will unlock solutions and create new opportunities. Telecom operators are an important part of the digital industry and the main uh, engine of digital uh, uh, economy. We, we should actively accelerate the transformation to meet the new requirements. Firstly, operators need to further expand our service scope and uh, shift from traditional communication service providers to information service providers. In the past, we mainly provided voice short messages and uh, data transmission services. In the future, we need to provide uh, information transmission, computing, store, uh, uh, storage services, and products. Secondly, the service objectives are expanding from individual consumers to various fields, such as enterprises, families, and the governments. We hope our information services can be deeply integrated with consumers' production, uh, production life and, uh, and uh, governance. Thirdly, the development mode is transforming from network resource-driven to innovation-driven. Operators need to pay more attention to technology and product innovation. Uh, the, uh, then is the second part. From the first section, we understand that it's uh, crucial uh, for operators to transform in the digital economy area. Furthermore, how can operators strive to stay ahead? We propose two ideas. First, transforming network infrastructure which should shift from a connection-oriented to a computing-oriented approach in order to provide information services. Second, involving the service system, which uh, should uh, move away from traditional service and towards new information services. Based on this viewpoint, we believe that a new future network should be constructed. 
char characterized by ubiquitous, ubiquitous, ubiquitous uh, connectivity, ubiquitous uh, con uh, computability, and ubiquitous capability. This network has four key features. The uh, first feature is multi-domain ubiquitous connectivity. First, satellite communication is a game changer. In the past two years, some newly launched smartphones have enabled satellite connectivity, making it a popular trait. We think that the future network will integrate uh, terrestrial and satellite communication. Secondly, sensing technology pays a significant role in the next generation technology. ITU has outlined six typ uh, typical uh, 6G scenarios, highlighting the importance of sensing capability. These technologies clearly outline the paths for a drone, a vehicles, ships, and among others. The integrated sensing and communication technology will drive the future network from information trans transmission to uh, perception of the world. The second feature is United Computing Infrastructure. We believe it should serve as a foundation of future network, enabling real-time processing of massive data and supporting AI training and the inference. In order to achieve the unified computing infrastructure, we need to enrich the computing power types, including CPU, GPU, and the supercomputing. Furthermore, the central cloud, edge cloud, and terminal computing should be included. All optical and IP network should be introduced to support uh, ultra fast, high re reliable transmission between computing nodes. Recently, the computing aware routing technology has emerged as a research hotspot uh, capable of integrating computing and network capability more deeply. The third future is, uh, is diversified integrated ca capacity. The traditional network struggle to meet the diverse demands of society, industry, and ecosystem. It's crucial to incorporate several capabilities that, that, that are deeply integrated within the future network. The first of these is AI. AI enables network planning, optimization, operation, maintain, maintenance, resulting, uh, the net, uh, resulting, resulting in network efficiency. The network can also empower AI, making it a more, it, it more, uh, 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 more per, more per, uh, pervasive. The second aspect is security. The future network must support full process uh, trustworthiness. New security technologies such as zero trust and uh, trusted computing should be considered. The third element is, is a deterministic Net, net, network, which aims to provide SLA assurance for the future network. The fourth feature is integrated uh, orientation service. It will be supported by the brain of community network. The brain is a core system that uniformly arranges, scheduled, manages, and maintains computer, computing and network resources. With the brain as an intelligent control center, the future network will function as a service platform 
which can facilitate a diverse information service flexibility. This architecture diagram shows our understanding of future network. A unified foundation for computing and network will be built, introducing high-speed optical network connecting computing nodes. Ubiquitous access will be enable, enabled, uh, spanning from the air to the ground and uh, the integration of capability, including communication, sensing, computing, and intelligence will be supported. Ultimately, the future network will serve as a, serve as a comprehensive platform facilitating integrated information service. At the last is the, the third part. Recently, China Mobile has actively expanded into new fields of information services, accelerating the trans transformation from traditional telecom operator to a information service <laughs> and the sign te tech innovation enterprise. The business performance has consistently improved with operating revenue uh, exceeding 930 billion RMB in 2022. Meanwhile, revenue from revenational, revenational service like voice and text messages is declining, while digital service income is increasing gradually accounting from over 25 in 2022. Furthermore, total connection have reached 3 point, uh, 3 point, more than, uh, more than 3 billion, uh, with half of this being what IOT connections. All of this shows the emerged of new growth drivers. Emergence, uh, uh, I think um, all of shows the emergence of new growth drivers. We always regard connection as a foundation of our development. To date, we have built the world's largest network. Our 5G base station exceed 1.9 million, uh, covering all the, of the cities key towns and the villages throughout of the country. The number of uh, 5G tariff users reached 733 million. Furthermore, we are driving the maturity of 5G technology, 5G technology industry, act actively contributing to 3GPP and ITU. We also start research on 6G and the relate and the released 37 technology uh, technical white papers. In the future, we hope to further strengthen international cooperation and uh, to form a globally unified 3G standard. We introduce the concept of compute uh, computing uh, force network uh, CFN in. 2021. And after two years, we gradually promote CFN from a concept into reality. We have preliminary established a nationwide CFN infrastructure with total computing capacity reached 9.5 E flows and uh, nationwide uh, late latency reduced to 20 milliseconds. We are constructing the largest operator's intelligent computing center. We have developed a computing power access platform, which has accessed third party computing resources exceeding 1.9 E flows. And we have also developed a brain platform to manage and schedule all computing and network resources. 
In addition, we are driving the CIVN innovation. We have proposed computing power routing and the init initiated standard uh, development in, uh, in IETF. Lastly, I will discuss the progress of our other digital technologies. We have created a, capacity, a, a capability open platform just like a flexible capacity capability uh, superstore. The platform has aggregated, aggregated 990 capabilities and uh, more than 40 billion capabilities calls per month. Taking AI as an example, we have already developed more than 370 AI capabilities. This year, we are researching and applying AI large models to the intelligent customer service, a smart government, intelligent network operations, among others. Finally, I would like to summarize the three key points of my speech today. Firstly, I explained why I believe it's essential for telecom operators to transform in order to meet the new demands of digital economy and adapt uh, to techno uh, uh, technology uh, shifts, techno uh, technological uh, shifts. The secondly, I addressed the question of what I believe uh, telecom operators should do to accelerate transformation from communication service providers to information service providers. Lastly, I uh, showcased how, how, in my opinion, we need to build a future ready network, which, uh, um, uh, uh, which ambiguous uh, connectivities, building power and capability, and create a new information infrastructure and a new information service system. Uh, that's all is my uh, uh, all, uh, speech. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Wang, for the excellent presentation. Very clear. Um, we now would like to encourage the participants to put their questions uh, in the chat or in the Q&A button. And uh, then we'll uh, ask you to maybe answer some of these questions. Um, we have one question online uh, <clears throat> related to the uh, platform for network computing, if it will be subject of standardization, or it can be treated as the mobile network operator domain specific or MNO will adapt to hyperscalers platforms. So perhaps uh, we'll uh, ask you to uh, address this question first. Okay. Uh, it's uh, operate, it's um, um, for Ch China Mobile's um, network. Uh, uh, not not uh not a cloud cloud uh, company uh, provide hyperscale. Uh, maybe I can let my translator to to yeah. to translate. This is this is uh the computing regarding the computing. Uh, power network that introduced by Madam Wang, and this is uh, built by uh, China Mobile. It's not for the hyperscalers. Okay, so it's more domain specific to the uh, mobile network operator. So he said, "Is this platform more for the hyperscalers?" Yes, 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 there is a significant new growth with the digital transformation and the information aspects versus the traditional voice and uh, SMS. So uh, certainly congratulations on that change in the 
in the business drive and also uh, the results show the impact. Um, could you summarize maybe quickly two of the key elements that uh, were part of that uh, growth uh, segment in your network? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 对，他刚刚就是讲了，咱们您在演讲当中也介绍，就是传统的从传统语音啊，现在转到这新兴业务发展，就您能不能总结一下，就是两个主要的这个网络当中所带来的这些增长是什么？嗯，想想，let mm. let me think 啊 yeah, ，OK，嗯，主要的这个增长是吧？嗯嗯，主要的增长，我们主要增长是吧？ Okay. Mm. 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 你计算能力吧？我我们呃，我们一个比较增长的一个是云云的这个云的业务，云的业务。第二个呢，就是我们拓展了我们的to I like to introduce you the two main growth areas, which number one is the cloud services offerings for our customers, and number two is the to be business domain. Especially the ICT solutions. Great, thank you very much. Uh, maybe to conclude the Q and A section, uh, in terms of future research for academics, what would be uh, the one or two areas of research that you would encourage universities to work on uh, in the next few years? 嗯，他就是想问您，就是最后一个关于就是未来研究方面的，就是您呃建议未来的这个大学啊，它应该针对一两个哪两个领域来来一个或者两个这种领域加大研究。对，对我觉得就是一个是融合创新，啊，尤其
uh, combine with FDD uh, to let the, uh, the integrate with FDD, then the the LT uh, 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 is being the the only international 4D standard. It's my uh, top, uh, top yeah. target, yeah. All right, thank you. Um, I would like to ask you, uh, how will, in your opinion, generative AI in, in like chat GPT impact the future of research and also everyone's life in general? Yeah, chat GPT. Yeah, yeah chat GPT um, has much impact in both technology research and our daily lives. Um, its ability is to uh, rapidly and uh, 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 rapidly analyze data, generate text, and uh, summarize information, which is uh, uh, is is driving scientific progress and uh, advancing our uh, comprehensive of complex co complex ideas, and uh, and the and the chat GDP capa uh, capability. For developing code is um, are sharing in exciting new possibilities in software engineering. Yeah, it is uh, is is very great, and uh, uh, in our uh, in our personal lives, ChatGDP uh, streamlines uh, daily tasks, uh, functioning as a virtual assistant. Uh, chat uh, chatbot and uh, educational aids uh, empowering us to do more and uh, know more I think it's it's great help for, for us um, uh, in fact the chat BP can answer our this question very uh, 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 great. very great I think I think in the future I think um, for us, uh, important thing is to study how to communicate and ask questions with AI, with ChatGDP. Mm. Thank you. Okay. Mm. Thanks a lot. I would like to ask you um, if you could tell us one of the most tangible contributions that you have made in your career that had an impact on your life and maybe on the life of, of the ones close to you. Yeah, maybe uh, I have answered uh, previous yes. <laughs> in the previous uh, uh, question. Yeah, during the my career, um, uh, the achievement I'm participating proud of uh, proud of is playing a role in early aspect of four G yeah. development TDL developments from standard setting to in innovative technology to industry promotion. My efforts helped uh, drive the construction of millions of 4G base station in China and uh, advising mobile in, in, in internet development and uh, trans uh, tra transforming people's lifestyle. Uh, with 4G, wireless communication become accessible uh, everywhere, making tasks like checking news, watching videos, shopping, and uh, remote work uh, uh, if, um, effortless. Uh, I'm grateful to have a contribution, uh, contributed to such a milestone in the start industry, yeah. Fantastic, thank you so much. Thank you for adding details. Uh, um, I would like to ask you my last question. How do you stay up to date with the latest advancements and research in the ICT field? Is there any uh, journal, conferences, books that you probably read recently or communities that you would recommend young researchers to engage with? Mm, okay. Uh, to main uh, updated in ICT, I will actively participate in uh, academy, uh, academic and industry uh, forums, uh, maintain uh, communication with enterprises and uh, uh, follow technology related accounts. Uh, this help uh, broaden my perspective and uh, provide a deeper understanding of uh, trade and uh, elements in the fields. Mm, 
uh, about a book I recently read the the three the three body problem problem written by a Chinese character Liu Xin Liu Cixin. Liu is a famous Chinese writer. It offers an exciting and uh, thought uh, provoking explosion of human history, technology, and our place uh, in the uh, universe. Uh, I want to recommend it, this book to you uh, to to uh, yeah if you are interested in the uh, science uh, fiction, yeah. All right, it is translated <laughs> in English as well? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. yes, yes. All right, yes. then we, we will look It's very it. interesting. <laughs> Hugo, 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 Hugo Award. Yeah. Hugo Award, science fiction from oh, China. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. It's a very uh, interesting you. book, yeah. Okay, well noted. Thank you for your recommendation. And I would like to, to thank you for, for participating in this webinar, also especially because, uh, because it's pretty late in Beijing right now. So yes, big, midnight. Big thanks. <laughs> big thanks yeah. to you. I would like to, to ask also um, Onoe san and, and uh, uh, Dr. Okay. Jamusi if they want to uh, be back and say goodbye, mm. uh, closing words to our speaker. Thank Thank you very much. I, I prepared one photo photograph with you. I, yeah. You can, this, you, I, do you remember this? <laughs> <laughs> At that time, I Wait. discussed about the standalone and non standalone for 5G. Yeah, that was yeah. a few years ago. Yeah. In, in Japan or, or, Japan or Korea? Yeah, yeah. probably that's uh, in Yokohama. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So, thank you so yeah. much for sharing. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, for all Congrats. the people uh, that will be connected, I, I would like to um, remind you that our uh, next webinar and the last one of this season will be held on the 6th of December. Uh, so I will um, I look forward to see you online uh, again for our webinar. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you.